Welcome to the Joe Show, where we may be streaming Radio GBX. My name is Joe. Joining tonight, we have my co-host Grace and Hello. special local artist guest, Broken Arrow. Hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Good. How are you doing? Spectacular. Good. Looking forward to diving into some interesting conversation with you guys, just about your music and just, you know, what's going on with you guys' life. Sweet. Here on Radio GBX, we have Broken Arrow. You also heard part of All Will Be Revealed. So soon, all will be revealed uh, here <laughs> with the interview with Broken Arrow. How are you guys doing? All right. Good. How are you, man? Good. Good. I liked, I, that was a good um, use of the title of our song. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I want to ask you guys, like, where are you guys from? We, we can start individually, too, if you guys like. Yeah, we, so my brother and I were uh, born and raised here in Green Bay. Okay. And uh, me and my brother were uh, born in Green Bay, raised in Luxembourg. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I made you grab the mic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could have said that. Are you sure? We're good. Um, but yeah, so these three guys um, still live in the area, and I actually I live down in Milwaukee. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bit of a drive for you then. Yeah. Okay, thanks for uh, yeah, I came here straight from work today. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's I enjoy the drive. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what brings you guys to Green Bay? Like, um, you guys do a lot of shows around here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of shows. Some in Green Bay, but also in the Fox Cities too. Um, we actually just played in Kakana at Maloney's. Okay. Um, last weekend with Infrared. Yes, with Infrared. <laughs> nice. Uh, Those another guys are awesome. Yeah, another local group. Another group of really talented guys. Um, so yeah, yeah, we we play a lot in this area, but we love to keep um, expanding the areas that we do play in um, and try to play in more markets around the state as well. Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you. So, um, what, what instruments do you guys play? Uh, lead singer. Uh, lead guitar. Lead drums. <laughs> and I'm Peyton. I play bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you guys happen to play any other instruments? Is that kind of like, um, just the one you guys set on for the band? At he least, plays guitar a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I do a little bit of rhythm guitar, and I want to eventually work more of that in mm. uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, I do play guitar, and the first instrument I actually ever played was trumpet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, first first instrument I ever played was a tenor saxophone, but I also play um, the five-string bass down in another band I have out in Madison. But yeah, nice. mostly, mostly guitar nowadays. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just drums for the band, although I fiddle around on anything that makes sound. Yeah, guitars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I try playing guitar. I'm not very good, but I like bass. Yeah, I've always played keyboard, piano. Yeah, if it makes noise, I'm I'm gonna want to play it. For sure. <laughs> uh, just bass. I started with trumpet though. Okay, well, that's right. That's right. I forgot. You, no, I forgot that you also play trumpet. Yeah. You play the guitar too? No. Well, yeah, yeah, a little he bit. Does, he does. He does a little bit. No. He'll he'll write some stuff on guitar like every once in a blue moon. But and that's yeah. why he plays bass. Yeah. But, no. Yeah. I mean, bass is every every part of it. Like the band is a crucial part. Yes. Like yeah. you know, all all you guys blend together, all the different sounds. I mean, you know, wouldn't be what it is without you guys. Correct. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. True. Kind of going into um, that, like, what inspired you guys to like start making and playing music? Oh yeah. So Dexter and I had a mutual friend. I went to school with her, and she texted me one day. She's like, "Hey, I know this guy. You know, kind of reminds me of you. You guys should get together. You're both tall." <laughs> blonde blue eyes ugly you guys should get together and maybe just jam a bit so he came over i think the first thing we played was like pantera, pantera cowboys okay. from hell pantera. Yeah. yeah yeah played some pantera and we're like all right let's do this so i was like i got a brother that can sing uh and then i had a, another guy i knew from school that played bass and we did that for like a year it's like a year and i half. think so yeah, yeah like a year and a half, half. And then he, Peyton, ended up joining after. And all we did, we started off, our first gig was a car show at where Dexter and I work. Okay. Dorsch. Okay. Dorsch yeah, Ford. Dorsch. Nice. <laughs> Will pay me for that. I'm sponsoring you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yep. yeah. So we started there. We did a car show there. And it's funny looking back because it was just drums, guitar amp, bass amp, and then Jacob sang through what a guitar amp. I sang through amp. another guitar amp. Yeah, yeah, he sang through guitar amp. It's a fifty dollar eighties guitar amp. Was it <laughs> like, a gorilla? It was a gorilla. Yeah. 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 I was watching in the crowd. Yeah, yeah. he, Pate, he Pate was, was there at the first one, yeah. He was. Yeah. And the next one he actually played in. Yeah. yeah. I got roped into it. 
Yeah. <laughs> By him. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> what? <laughs> then why are you so good at bass? He wrote me into it. <laughs> you could tell he wanted to do it. I remember watching you sitting there like. Yeah, the other guy was playing. He didn't know the beginning of NIB. I was really mad. <laughs> Peyton is a big Black Sabbath fan. Oh, yeah. He's a big fan of Geezer Butler and, and he takes a lot of inspiration from that. Um, but yeah, so that's so Jonas started the group, and um, but all of us have like been playing music in general for a long time, whether okay. it's on the other instruments that we've been playing. So that's kind of music has just been a part of our lives for a very long time, and then it came together with Jonah starting with buddies in high school, and then it morphed into us four. That's really awesome. So how long have you guys been working out together? <laughs> Since. 2020? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. no September of 2020 is yeah. when we had our first okay. show at the car show. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's what it was? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's September or August of 2020. One of those. I thought it was September. August. It was early September. Oh. Okay. They moved the car show back. Oh. Later yeah. Years. The next yeah. Show 2020. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, that's good. You guys going on? Um, it's almost 2025? Yeah. 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 That's cool. That's five years of my life. I'll never get back. <laughs> no. Oh, jeez. Gone. <laughs> We have Bocanero with us tonight. Hi. So I'm going to pass <laughs> off some questions over to here to my co-host, Grace. She's okay. going to ask you some questions. I promise you I'm not going to bite. Okay, they're all fun ones. <laughs> okay. um, so, can I hear myself? Yes. Um, <laughs> so, the first question I have for, like, all of you, you can answer together. Um, so, every band has a good, st good story behind their name, right? So, I want to know, like, is there a story behind the name Broken Arrow? Or did it just AI generated, here you go, this sounds great? No, no AI. No, <laughs> AI, I don't think even was doing their... Yeah, it didn't exist. Yeah, I <laughs> I came up with it when I was really young. So Jacob had a buddy in high school that came over one day. I don't think I was even in high school yet. And we jammed. And we're like, oh, we should make a band. I was like, yeah. And we're trying to <laughs> think of a name. And I had just watched a movie called Broken Arrow. Hmm. At my grandparents' house for the family. And then I was thinking, I was like, that sounds kind of bad ASS. So I was like, ah, Broken Arrow. He's like, yeah, that's cool. I was like, yeah, it is cool. <laughs> so I just stuck with it. Then, like they said earlier, I had a little, little kind of mock-up of it again with some guys in high school. That was fun. But then eh, we just, just kind of stuck with it. And then uh, our grandpa actually was in the Air Force, and he worked – Broken Arrow missions it, that it's like regarding nukes, uh, stuff like that. It's There's military, yeah, term. military terminology. Yeah. So he worked a Broken Arrow mission when he was in the military. So I was like, yeah, this one's for you, pops. Nice. Yeah. My brain was thinking like, uh, green. What is it? Green Arrow. Whatever. Oh, the superhero. Oh, the superhero. Yeah, yeah. My brain was thinking yeah. that for a little uh -huh. bit. Um. And this next question that I have, um, each of you can answer it or not. You can answer it as a group. Um, but of your, of all the songs that you guys have so far made, um, what is your favorite song to perform? Speed Chase Blues. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, that one's not out, though. No. Yeah, that I one's not out. Soon, we, though? I, <laughs> 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 if we get rich. <laughs> if we get rich, yeah. Well, we just got to make sure we shell away some money for getting back from the recording studio. But then, yeah, we have we have some songs we want to keep. We want to put out more stuff, mm -hmm. um, obviously. But uh, we got a plan for that. Um, but, yeah, Speed Chase Blues, I think, is really – that one is up there. And then Lighthouse for me, too. We have a song called Lighthouse. that I, I like playing that one live because um, that's – uh, that, that one's kind of a fun. We play with different, uh, there's like slower sections and then more upbeat sections. So, um, but yeah, those two for me. And then I, I really do like Say It because it's, um, I know we've been using it a lot as the opening song, but I, I do think it is genuinely a great opening song to open a set with. Um, but that one is, that's on the EP that is out there in the world. Um, so yeah, those, I, you asked for one and I gave you three. So that's sorry okay. about that. I technically <laughs> failed the assignment. <laughs> I disagree. It's just Lighthouse. That's the best one. That's the best <laughs> song we've ever made. I thought you like Speed Chase. It's, it's good. <laughs> but the riff for Lighthouse is better. And like I can dissonance. just solo for however long I want <laughs> in Lighthouse. It's awesome. There's dissonance. Uh, what about you? Uh, out of our hands. That's oh, really? oh, that one's fun. Yeah, that one's really fun to play. Yes. Yeah, I start. Never mind. That's the only one. <laughs> no, it's not. No. No, it's not. Discourse. Discourse. Oh, yeah, right. No, but Out of Our Hands to me is like Lighthouse. Like it changes a lot. 
we go from six eight to four four. And then back to six eight. Oh, and yeah. then back six eight. Yeah, that's, yeah. that is true. Back four four and then we yeah. Yeah. Huh. All that's right. Cool. <laughs> so this next one is like for all of y'all. Um so Tell me about an artist that you would like to collaborate with, maybe, uh, in the future and why. So, like, your dream oh, collaboration. Man. I know it's a oh, tough one. It's Diddy. a tough one. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. What? That's so bad. All right. Um, okay. So, so we, we are, just we we are need accepting, a new bass player. We are accepting. New bass uh, yeah, we are player, accepting. Player, 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 player. I can't bass player. Yeah, what? yeah. We're accepting auditions for a new bass player. Um, if anyone has just been kicked out, <laughs> as if anyone even has picked up a bass once in their life, uh, we'll we'll consider you. Um, no, um, there's, I mean, obviously, like because we're a rock outfit, you know, there's a lot of rock artists that I love to work with, especially our favorite band, our mine and Jonah's favorite band of all time is Rush. Oh yeah, so yeah. So we'd love to. I mean, yeah, Jonah's yeah. got a YYZ tattoo. So we'd love, I mean, just the opportunity to work with Getty and Alex would be the coolest thing ever. Um, but there's also so much like, there's a lot of music that we all listen to as well. Um, like Jonah's got a lot, ton of influences. Like, uh, like there's a lot of like singer songwriter folks that I love to work with. Like um, Stevie Wonder, he yeah, was just yeah, in yeah. Milwaukee yeah. and I missed that show and I'm so upset at myself that I missed that show. Um, but yeah, Stevie Wonder would be awesome. Just did the opportunity to share a stage with him. Uh, Elton John, Billy Joel. Dude, Living mm -hmm. Color yeah. would Living be Living Color. Cool, oh, my gosh. Yeah, Living Color would be so cool. Primus. Primus. <laughs> yeah. Les Claypool. A Broken Arrow song with Les Claypool on it. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. Does the artist have to be alive? <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a good question. I never actually. The amount of times I've asked this question and no one's ever asked me that. Well, so let's break uh, the rules. You. What's yeah. your answer? Uh, Peter Steele. Okay. Typo negative and carnivore and whatever else he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna All go right. either Sabbath or mm. Miles Davis. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh dude. Yeah, I'll yeah, make yeah, some yeah. lounge jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Or Herbie Miles. Hancock. Yeah. Is that Herbie? You don't know who Herbie Hancock is? No. Who's that? He Come played on. for Miles Davis in his band. I haven't gone that deep down the rabbit hole, boy. Herbie Hancock, <laughs> Miles Davis, Tony Williams. Oh come on, man! Yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah, on, Miles man. Davis. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, I play I, with Herbie Hancock. Yeah, and there's like and like I said, we have like Dave Matthews Band. <laughs> Dave Matthews. <laughs> no, yeah, another another college. Well, they started what they were technically considered a college like hmm. college band kind of during that era. I don't know. Really? But I, that's what I've heard. But uh -huh. people say different things. Um, I. I also like for me. I would love to. Uh, I think Huey Lewis in the news would be fun to uh, to jam with. He can't hear though, can he? Well, there, that was an issue for a while, but I don't know. I think he. I think he's past that. Oh, I could be wrong. Oh, good but for him. He got his hearing. Yeah. yeah. Well, he. Yeah. He had. He had hearing loss for a while because he was supposed to come to. I think either Green Bay or somewhere. Yeah, we were supposed to, to go. Yeah. Yeah, we were gonna go see him, and then it was. Yeah, it was like, oh, he's got hearing loss, so that was a big bummer. Aww. Yeah. That's a bummer. But, uh, yeah. But yeah, so that's uh, we could probably list a bunch more, but those yeah, are just that's cool. some. That's that's with. a good variety. Yeah. Um, so this question I didn't write down, but I started asking it recently. So imagine you are all planning a dinner party, and you are allowed to invite eight people, not including yourself. So each of you can invite two people. Who would you pick to invite to the dinner party and why? They can be alive or they can be dead. Ooh. I know. But you get two. You get two. We're going to even it out. It so we each get two. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd, yeah. I'd bring Phil and Selmo and Dimebag Daryl. Oh, oh wow. Dimebag Daryl. Oh, and I'd yes. make them hash it out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's dead at the end of that night. <laughs> if Someone's not. dead at the beginning of that night. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I do. I I really I really just want to say um, Getty Lee and Alex, Alex Lifeson, but mm -hmm. there's also there's so many people. I think for for this question, I would say you said live or dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, Chris Cornell and Lane Staley. Oh, Chris Cornell, yes, hundred percent. Lane's a better singer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you? Ah, oh, Neil Peart for sure. Okay. Yeah. Neil Peart. Yeah. The professor. The almighty god of drums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The other one. 
I guess there's there's a million and one drummers. Out, but uh, you know what, Larna Lewis from Snarky Puppy. I don't know if you heard oh. about Snarky no, Puppy. I never heard. It's a fusion band. Okay. Oh my God, they're amazing. Yeah. Well, he doesn't just play. He's played with Snarky Puppy. He's got yeah. his own band. He's just one of the best drummers out there. He's got chops, but he knows how to use them. Yeah. Okay. He's got impeccable groove. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I can watch him for days on end. What about what about you? I forgot. Like I said, I was gonna forget everybody's names by like five minutes. I already <laughs> forgot yours. It's Dingus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably Lane Staley. He's already there. He's already oh, here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough. Uh, they could be dead too, bro. Yeah. They could be. They don't even have to be musicians, do they? No, they don't have to be if you don't Ooh, want them yeah. to be. Ooh, Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> Lincoln and Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! <God. laughs> I want to hear what was happening. <laughs> Lincoln immediately. Lincoln and, yeah. <laughs> uh, probably Cliff. Burton. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ken Miles would be cool, too. Yeah. Who's that? He uh, raced for Ford when they beat Ferrari in 66 mm. at Le Mans. You mean Batman? <laughs> Christian Bale, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, if, if I had to pick two people, if I were at this dinner party... I would say Kurt Cobain is the first person I think uh, of. I'd like mm -hmm. to hear his stories. And mm -hmm. figure out that his wife actually killed him and not himself. I've heard that conspiracy oh, as well. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and the other person I can think of, uh, Andy Biersek of Black Veil Brides. Mm. So interesting. He'd be okay. an interesting man to have a conversation with, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and on that note, in terms of inspirational people, uh, at least – He's inspirational to me. Uh, but what is the best piece of advice another musician or someone close to you has ever given you? And this can be a question for each of you if, if you'd like to answer that. Listen to everything. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, this is tough. I'm really good at ignoring advice. <laughs> <laughs> she is. I'm good at taking it and then totally disregarding it. <laughs> When it's good, it's fun. When it's bad, it's funny. <laughs> Heck, that'll get you through a lot. Yeah. Um, I guess, oh. I don't know if this is necessarily, like, something that, well, like, yeah, like, we've been told this for sure, but it's it's not like I, I narrow it down to, like, mm -hmm. one person who said this. It's kind of like we, I think we've heard it, at least I've heard it a few times, and it's also just um, kind of the theme for like some of the bands that I adore. Um, but no matter what, like music can sometimes be seen as like, uh, you know, like a way to just push different, you know, the trends and everybody's doing this and that. Yeah. And, and maybe like depending on the time period of what's currently happening in the musical landscape, you know, there's might be pressure to try to do um, a similar, similar things to a lot of what other people are doing. Um, for me, like one of the, good pieces of advice that I always want to um, hold true to what we do and um, just anything that we're involved in with music is no matter what, just stay true to who you guys are. Don't try to be someone or something else. Just stay true to who you guys are and just be genuine with what you do because people will recognize that. We've, we've been told that a handful of times that people recognize when you are genuine with what you do. Like if people see you guys playing and they realize that they're like – they're legitimately enjoying this. Like people recognize that, and I think that's super mm. cool. And I'm very appreciative of that. So do not um, conform. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just thought of the video I remember seeing like a year or two ago of Eddie Van Halen just like grabbing a camera and just saying, "God, keep playing, man. Better keep playing. <laughs> yeah. I'll find you." <laughs> well, people yeah. have said that to us too. Like that's I think another yeah. Big Yes. Big piece of advice. They say stay together yeah. and no egos. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They say that. Yeah. We get that a lot and that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Because sometimes I just want to drop these guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Right I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just Peyton. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> uh well that's great advice actually from I like it. I'm here with Broken Arrow. How you guys doing? Woo! Fantastic. Stellar. Amazing. Have some great behind-the-scenes conversations, am I right? Yes. 
<laughs> so I want to get talking about you guys' music. So, like, what is, like, your creative process when you guys write music together? Oh, us three get together, we... Well, there's a lot of things that happen. We, <laughs> we, either, we either jam on something or someone will, like... Someone has an idea. Someone has an idea and then we'll, like, jam on it until it becomes something or okay. we'll take different ideas and combine them and then we'll try to make it just fit somewhere yeah cohesive kind of make it make it work so is it like different every time pretty much or is it just kind of what are you guys feeling it's definitely different every time i mean like sometimes we're just like we walk in there we just start jamming on something like nobody even knows what the next person's gonna do and eventually we just get to the point where like hey that's like two song sections right there and then we just stop and like either record them or just try to memorize them and add to them. But yeah, some or either that or we like, like they said, someone comes in with a riff or an idea and then we pretty much do the same thing until we have some sort of section that we can make into something else or have something follow it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll record it and then I make it so it sounds somewhat decent. <laughs> so you can at least understand what's going on. And then I send it to Jacob. Mm-hmm. And then so he can listen to it and come up with a vocal part and lyrics. Okay. Yeah. None of us have written lyrics, and I don't think any of us should. Uh, <laughs> Jacob, what are your lyrics about? Uh, well, they're about a lot of things, Peyton. Thanks That's for great. asking. <laughs> um, they're, well, I, so we kind of mentioned it earlier, too, but, like, for me, one of my biggest inspirations is, is Rush. And one mm-hmm. of the things that, like, that I think about is Neil Peart and how he wrote lyrics. Mm-hmm. Um and just in general, though, like I don't want to, my um, goal when I write words is not to just write, um, I guess, throwaway lyrics or like the same stuff that people have been saying, you know, for the past however many years. Like, yes, we'll talk about similar or like I'll talk about similar themes, but I just I don't want it to be like this sounds like everything else that's out there. So I just try to try to think of it in a way where it's like. Again, when it comes to lyrics, like I like when you can, um, like we can, when you can spin a good tale, you know, when you can actually, you know, kind of, uh, I do like when you can like write a story in your words and and not just like, um, I don't, I don't even know what example would be because I, I just uh, don't think it's my place. Um, what's that about? Lighthouse. We don't know. We what? us three don't. Yeah, we don't. Have I explained it? Oh, okay. Well, is it like it's, finding a lover? I mean, it's Out of the fog in the storm. It, it, I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you, if it, depending on how, so the main thing is, it's just, it's an analogy, because like you guys, when they sent me the uh, the music for Lighthouse, I was like, it sounds like you're on a ship rocking back and forth, and so that's how that that was the genesis of that. So then I was like, okay, okay I'm gonna write words that are directly related to like being on the water and like ship stuff. Um, but then it's also just, you know, it's an analogy for, um, like, sometimes life sucks, but, you know, you get through it. You know, it's it's sometimes the waves are rough, but then, you know, something is usually there that brings you through it. So a lighthouse. A lighthouse, you know, quite literally directs ships away from, you know, the, the shore so they don't crash their ships on the shore. So So a lighthouse could be whatever you want it to be for you in your life. So, yeah, maybe you find a lover. That is that uh, yeah, helps makes you want to go away because that's that, a lighthouse. Is no, <laughs> <laughs> something that could save you from you know a tough point that you're having in your life. That's so it's an analogy to that or metaphor, whatever is the proper word to use there. Stop and um, go is about writing songs. Is it um, not? Is stop, it? Is it? stop and uh, go is um, well. I think it's just about like um, like playing out. Doing your general. thing, yeah, just doing your thing because, like, oh, okay. because the um, the second verse, and when the lights don't shine as bright, and you think you've reached the last show, it's not the end. Yeah, it's just the start in a world where anything goes. So it's like sometimes, yeah, you know, you we could play really... to like three people. We've <laughs> <laughs> done that a lot. Yeah, like a lot. What? Well, we we've, we've had our fair share of it, but you know, we've had our fair share lot. of paid practices. <laughs> Hell gigs. Um. But yeah, so it's just basically I like I do a lot of reflecting on what's happening around us. But then um, like that has been a lot of themes of like the stuff that we've written so far. Um, just how uh, uh, dear life 
that song is is it's pretty straightforward. It just we they had sent me the music for Dear Life pretty much at the end of last year, at the end of 2023. And so there's all this stuff going on. I think that was like uh, we had just been um, like the, like oh, there's like the wars and stuff and just everything that's going on. And so that's work and just everything that was going on in 2023. That's kind of where that came from. So it's often like looking at what's happening around me, but then. Um, just anything you could find inspiration in anything, um, and then you just find something to relate to. So again, with Lighthouse, they sent me the music, and the music sounded like you were on a ship, and so that's where kind of the at least the core theme of the song started. Um, so yeah, so anything that you know surrounds you, that you anything that you interact with could be inspiration for it. Uh, but as of right now, it's been a lot of just observing of what's going on around you and. And all that stuff. What does Speed Chase Blues remind you, you of? Tell oh, yeah. <laughs> no, don't uh, tell him. Don't okay. Tell him. I'll tell him. Can I tell him? Yeah. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> Jonah went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> he, he spent a night. Two in nights. Jail. So he went two, to jail. What? It was That's two a, nights. He spent two nights in in the clink. Um, <laughs> he was just, he was going a little bit, a little bit too fast on the highway. Uh, and and I told him you ain't catching me. And they yeah, caught me. And yeah, and he had to answer for that. So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, like I said, uh, <laughs> it can it can really be inspiration can strike from anything that just happens around you. Um, but yeah, but overall, like that's kind of where the inspiration comes from. But then, as far as like the literal words that are used, um, you know, I just I just hope I hope that I my goal is to write words that people can engage with, and it's not just throwaway lyrics or like the same stuff that people have heard over and over again. People have um, said stop and go for a long time, dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Jacob. So yeah. You just open a dictionary and roll dice. <laughs> no, no, but that that actually might they, be. They did that with opinion. System in a Down and Rick Rubin, yeah, right? Yeah, they did. That's how yeah. I got that for. Yeah, um, the father into your hands, I commend yeah. you. Yeah. For anyone who didn't catch that, Dexter goes, you don't just open a dictionary and roll the dice. <laughs> uh, that actually might be a fun experiment to try that sometime. <laughs> Um, and like, I'd also, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, and again, it, like there might be a certain idea that I want to work out or, or put into words, but like, again, if anyone has like, uh, ever has suggestions for that, that's like, if anyone, if it's something that I like feel genuine about, it's like anyone can put forth lyrical ideas. Um, but I do like, you know, overall the theme, I, I, not, I shouldn't say the theme, but my goal again for writing lyrics is to not just write stuff that's like. I don't want people to get bored mm -hmm. when they're <laughs> when they're listening to the words. So, yeah, yeah, we really like your metaphors. Yeah, yeah. I think I could write some good ones though. The snail crossed the road. It took five years. That would be a good one. All right. So <laughs> I I rescind my further statement. I don't think anyone else should be allowed to have input on the lyrics. Uh, yeah. No, if I was in Primus, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, yeah. No, that's really cool. I really like, you know, you guys' inspirations and just how, how you guys go about writing your music and stuff, too. Yeah. Like, talk, talking about that, you guys had your first um, album release, um, Broken Arrow, and, like, so that was the first five songs on there. Um, and so what, how did that all happen? Like, how, how did you guys um, come to recording that? And... Oh, yeah. So, and this we met you there yeah. at NWTC because they have their recording class. And, okay, so I knew Hans... Cool I knew Hans, oh man, what was it? It was like a year or two before. The listeners don't know who Hans is. Yeah, he was, he was a teacher at NWTC. I that was, was, I was um, getting to yeah. that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. He's a Grammy yeah. nominated. If you were oh, yeah. continue my story. Anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot. So I met Hans through my drum, shout out Steve Seitz, my drum teacher. Wait, okay. Best guy in the world. Um, but he asked my teacher to do a recording for a guy he was making i think it was like a kid's album or something yeah it was a kid's album the guy's name is brian setzer and uh steve couldn't do it so he passed it on to me he does that a lot <laughs> so i was like yeah sure my first big time you know recording experience so i met hans through there and we got talking for a while we exchanged information and then he reached out to me and that's when we did the tc thing yeah. for you guys and I'm like, and we actually talked to him for a little bit. They were like, mm -hmm. yeah, we want to get a recording. So then he's like, okay, how about you guys just come to the studio and uh, we'll look at it and maybe talk about some stuff. I'm like, okay. So we go there, we check it out. And uh, he, get, he gave us this great opportunity for, it was two nights, or no, 
one night we were there, but two days, and he didn't charge us a blow of money. So we're like, yeah, we're going to do it. Might as well. You know, it's opportunity presents itself. So we did it there. And, uh, yeah, his studio is awesome. Yeah. He's got a really nice studio, and then he's got yeah, it's, it's also an like Airbnb, an too. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's, com- it's like there's five His house, things. an Airbnb, yeah. and a studio, yeah. Yeah. and a koi fish pond in the back. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. I didn't see it in person yet, but he did talk about it and show us a lot. Studio 330. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Studio, Studio 330. 330. Bay. Sturgeon Bay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then he also does, he does like his own classical, or because he, he plays cello. Yeah, yeah. So he'll do, I think he goes live on Facebook, I think, sometimes. Mm-hmm. But he does this very, oh, what's the word? Atmospheric. Atmospheric. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's got all these pedals and stuff that he plugs yeah, into his. And stuff. And yeah. yeah. It's loopers cool. that he plugs into his cello and it's very uh, atmospheric. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And he was recently nominated for um, the Grammy Award last year for his ambient track that he made too. Yeah. That was yeah. Really cool. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, great, great person to work with. It's cool that you guys had the experience of working yeah. with him at his, at his studio. That's really right. cool. And then producing the music that you guys did. Yes. Yeah. No, he's just definitely great inspiration for me as like an up and coming like audio engineer and stuff too. So definitely great to work with him and just, you know, to meet you guys there, through that too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, Hans has been around, man. He's, Yo, yeah. He's he knows a lot, a lot of, of stuff. Yeah. Like, huh. I learned a lot from him. Yeah. 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 So kind of going to that too, you guys, um, do you have, you talked about, you guys perform a lot of up and coming new music. Um, what do you guys like, Lighthouse? Um, do you guys plan on recording, kind of getting more music released soon? Or what is it kind of? plan oh we need to like write more songs because we yeah. only have i think oh, we've got like 10 12 well yeah but okay. like not including the ones we have recorded already i think we have like four four or five six okay ones, yeah. six yeah, yeah six well that's still we need more though like i think once we get around like maybe 10 or 12 we're definitely going to try to record all yes. of them at once yeah and put yeah. it out as a full album not just an ep but yeah. Right. yeah hopefully make it more you know realized and have a better cover art <laughs> No, cool. Yeah. 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 I mean, already what you guys yep. have already out there is pretty good. Like, you oh, know, this, thanks, this good, you. yeah. I had, I, I even just when I listened to you guys originally when we were just recording and that was like just practice, I was like, you guys sound amazing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean that Thank was pretty you. cool. And that's why when I heard him out here, I like to um wanted to promote you guys too on Wiggy GBX. We promote local artists. Yeah. Well again, we appreciate it, man. Yeah, of course. That's what happens when you sneak them five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't get paid for any of these, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, thank you. Um, we can turn it back to some music for now, and then we can get into some more um, conversation with you guys. Awesome. But yeah. Nice. Coming up next, we have Soul Shade. Um, oh, oh, shout out Maddie Moreau. Yep, Maddie Moreau. She's another student that goes here. Welcome back, back to your GBX. The last song you heard was Torch of an Entire Planet by Ditch the Hubcap. Jaren. Yeah. Jared, yeah. And Maddie and Drummer and, and John. Maddie, yeah. 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 Wait, that Jared? And, yeah. Oh, we met. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> and Kyle. Yep. We got to mention all all the band members. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they're definitely great. We like, had them on the um, Radio GBX here before, as you guys are local artists. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, I think John was the one that like sent yeah. me your information. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I'm glad you connected us to yeah. you guys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like I said, I saw you guys before, but I didn't get, you know, to get you guys information. So I'm glad able to make this work out yeah oh we are too yeah so where can we find you guys music what are, where are you guys at spotify apple music youtube no not youtube oh not youtube no. yeah youtube yeah, no, it's, oh, it's YouTube. on youtube it's on youtube yeah it's on youtube it's on uh or, uh, is youtube music or youtube you can find mm-hmm. it on both on both i think okay. yeah. really oh, all right. yeah, and awesome. amazon music i or, don't know i so it had a, like a weird sort of transfer on like I know on Pandora we got lumped in with some other artist named Broken Arrow. Huh. So, <laughs> Interesting. Uh, oh yeah. I, 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 so I look for the right Broken that. Arrow. Yeah. 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 Oh, I think it kind of does that with Apple Music too. Yeah, okay. that's it did that's that until I, des- I sent him a request. The same thing with Spotify. I think we got put on a separate one until I had to send a request in to get it separated. Hmm. That that one worked. I yes. don't know if the Apple Music one worked quite yet. It might have. I think it's been working. I know we um all stuff is connected to Apple Music. So like that's where we like oh. to promote you guys. So I, I think it has been showing up and linking you guys on music through Apple Music. So it's, oh, I cool. think that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah good. Well, we before I'd have to search a song specifically yeah. in order to find like I'd have to put Broken Arrow, say it, in yeah. order to find it. Because if I put Broken Arrow, I wouldn't be able to find it anywhere. But, yeah, okay. Right. That's cool. And you guys have any other websites, social medias that 
let's let's can find you on yeah facebook is broken arrow gb right yeah, yeah. and instagram is uh at real broken arrow i think yeah okay should be that yeah and then the website we have we have that on the link to it in both the facebook and the instagram okay yeah. Broken arrow the band dot com. Yeah, yeah, broken arrow the band dot com. That's what it is. Yeah. That's cool. Definitely go check these guys out. They produce great music, got great music coming. You guys perform um around Green Bay area. Definitely check them out. Yeah. Do you guys have anything else they'd like to say before we turn back to some music? We'll be in Swamico on November twenty third at uh Wouters. Or I guess that's Wooters. Wooters. I don't know. Wouters. I'm sorry, we we don't know how to pronounce that. No, it's, it's in yeah, it's in little little Swamico area, north of a little bit north of GB. Where um, are we at Butch and Ann's? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll be okay. uh, near Sheboygan area. Really? We'll be at uh, Butch and Ann's um uh, I can't remember what Is that name. December? Yes, it is December first. Oh we'll wow. be at Butch yeah. and Ann's. Cool. Uh, that's three PM to seven PM. It's a Sunday. There's no Packer game. So because there's no Packer game, uh you should come to that show. <laughs> um, and they have a couple bowling lanes there. So that's pretty sick. Okay. Um, Definitely bowling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so come check out the show. It'll be Butch and Ann's on December 1st. Uh, Wilder's uh, uh, November 23rd. Uh, New Year's <laughs> Eve will be at Rocky, oh, Rocky and Terrace Knot House. Yep. Jinx. Okay. Jinx. He'll be a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rocky and Terrace in the house, New Year's Eve, 9 to, nine to 1. And shout out to Rocky, too. Yes. Because he kind of got us up, up off our feet. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Connected with us with a lot of the, well, I think with all the different sound people that we've worked with. Yeah, the sound people, with, yep. Um, which has been huge because that was that was another big step for us, too. Like, how we mentioned earlier, like, it literally started us with, like, with us playing at a car show. I was singing out of a guitar amp. Yeah. Um, so bad. <laughs> Uh, using yeah, like probably a ten dollar microphone, um, and then now we just we've been able to get to the point where we are able to hire sound for our shows, and like we have our equipment, we have better equipment now, and um, and just a lot of that has been received a lot of great guidance from from Rocky. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we really appreciate it. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, check out these guys' music. Watch, come to the shows. Um, Broken Arrow here. Um, we're gonna turn it back to the music, and then we'll go for an outro. Anything else you'd like to say? And make sure you check out OB or GBX too. Oh yeah, GBX. Yeah, yeah, GBX. GBX. Shout out GBX. Thank you. <laughs> Get those views up. Oh yeah. So I'm just say thank you guys for joining us tonight. Woo! Thank you for having us. We yeah. appreciate it. It was awesome. Had some yeah, great awesome. conversations, and you know, just really looking forward to just all the stuff you guys have coming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we are too. Oh, it's scary though. <laughs> Not really. It's scary. No, you thought. guys have a lot of good stuff com- coming soon. A lot of good. Show a lot of good music. Looking forward to it. Awesome. Thanks, Thank brother. Thank you. Yeah. Man. Appreciate it. Of course. Um, check this out on YouTube. It'll be up there um, later and other other social medias on Radio GPX. Well, thank you for joining us. Stay tuned. Catch these, catch these guys on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, wherever you find your music. Yes. Now the show is Jova. <laughs> we are Broken Arrows on Radio GBX.